everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing another linear approximation problem today. This one asks us to find the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of the following function. f of x, y, z, this is a function in three variables, is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. They ask us to find the equation of the tangent plane at the point 3, 4, 12. And then um, they're going to ask us to plug in the point 3.03, 3.96, So with a problem like this, the first thing that you want to do is find the equation of the tangent plane. The way that we do that is uh, first step always, plugging in this point to the original function. So let's go ahead and do that. f of 3, 4, 12 is the square root of um, 3 squared, which is 9, 4 squared, which is 16, and then 12 squared, which is 144. So, uh, let's see, 150, 160, the square root of 169, which is, um, which is 13. So, that's the first thing we always do, plug in the point to the original function. Let's go ahead um, and write the, uh, the linear approximation equation. Um, write it right here. So the equation that we need to, that we need to put down here is um, z minus z1 equals a times x minus x1 plus b times um, y minus y1. And because this is a function at three variables, we will need a third one here, c times um, z minus z1. And since I actually have x, y, and z, I need to go ahead and change this over here. Because these, normally you have an equation in two variables, so you can use this for z, but we'll just actually call it um, we'll call it uh, k minus k1, just to be different. So we need to find all of the values in this equation so that we can write it out. Um, 13, when we plugged in the original point to the original function, and we got 13, that was for k1 right here. So that's the first thing we do. The next thing we do is take the partial derivatives of this function. Uh, eventually we're going to solve for a, b, and c. So let's take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. Now if you uh, need any help with partial derivatives, please go to the partial derivative section of my website. Here we're going to be focusing on linear approximation because that's the, um, the primary focus of this problem. So the partial derivative with respect to x of this function here um, let's actually go ahead and um, and change this function. The square root of anything can also be expressed um, as that thing raised to the one half power. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the one half is the same thing as the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So we went ahead and, and converted it because it's going to make this easier. So when we take the partial derivative, we will use chain rule here. I also have a, a chain rule section on my website if you need any help with chain rule. Go ahead and multiply the 1 half out in front, and then leave the what's inside the parentheses intact, and then of course subtract 1 from the exponent, so we have negative 1 half. But because the inside of this, uh, whatever's inside the, the parentheses here, is more complicated than just x, for example, we have to multiply this function by the derivative of the inside with respect to x. So um, 
the derivative of the inside of this, x squared plus y squared plus z squared, with respect to x is just 2x, so we multiply by 2x. So as you can see, we've got a 2 in the denominator here and a 2 in the numerator, so those two will cancel, and we'll actually be left with x, which I get from here, and then um, let's actually do this. It will be um, x in the numerator, and then th we'll have the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared is how that simplifies. Because remember, um, we have this raised to the negative one half power. We can move it to the denominator of the fraction and change this then to positive one half instead of negative. So in, I actually did two steps in one here. I moved this to the, de to, to the denominator, which changed this to a positive one half. And then of course, anything raised to the one half power is the same thing as, as the square root of that thing. So uh, I did two steps in one and um, this actually simplifies to this, which is the, the partial derivative with respect to x. And now what we need to do is plug in our original point, 3, 4, 12, to this function. Remember we did that when we plugged it into the function originally, so we know that the bottom here is going to be 13, right? 13 on the bottom, and then we just plug in 3 for x, so the partial derivative with respect to x at the point 3, 4, 12 is 3 over 13. So 3 over 13 is going to be a right here. So now we need to go ahead and find the partial derivative with respect to y and do the same thing. So with respect to y, again, we're going to pretend that this is um, instead of square root to the one half instead. We're going to pull out the one half in front like we did last time, leave the center intact. This will be to the negative one half again, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to y, which is 2y. Again, we have the twos cancel, and we're left with y over um, the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. As we did before, we know that the bottom is 13 and y is 4. So you're probably starting to see the pattern here. Um, b then is going to be, let's go ahead and write this up here. b is 4 over 13. And then we're going to find the partial derivative with respect to z, 